Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this code AB along with the line segment OC that intersect at this point C such that this line segment AC is 9 units whereas this line segment BC is 24 and moreover this line segment OC is 12 units and O is the center of this circle. Now we are going to calculate the radius of this blue circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and extend this line segment OC. We can extend this on this side and on this side as well as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and as a result we got this uh, DE as our diameter. Now we can see that this uh, OE is the radius of this circle. I'm going to represent this one by lowercase r and likewise this uh, DO is the radius of the same circle as well. So therefore this distance uh, CE is going to be this r plus 12 so this is going to become r plus 12 and likewise this uh, distance uh, cd is going to be this r minus 12 so this is going to become r minus 12 so therefore our this uh, ce distance is r plus 12 and this uh, cd distance is uh, r minus 12 and now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect in a circle then the product of the measures of the segments of the chord are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram here we can see that these two chords intersect each other such that the product of these two line segments a times b on the left hand side is equal to the product of these line segments C and D as you can see over here. So as a result we get this formula A times B equals to C times D. Now let's focus on this uh, our problem. We got these two chords AB and uh, DE and they are intersecting each other. So therefore I'm going to call uh, this line segment as an A, this line segment uh, B this line segment C and this line segment D. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. A in our case is 9 times B is 24 equal to our line segment C is R minus 12 times D is R plus 12. And now let's go ahead and multiply on the left hand side. So we got 216 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b times a plus b equal to a square minus b square let me go ahead and call this our a and this our b then this right hand side could be written as r square minus 12 square is same as 144 now let's go ahead and add 144 on both sides this is gone and therefore our r square is going to be equal to when we add these number that is going to give us 360. Now let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. This square and square root is gone. So we got r equals to and here on the right hand side square root of 360 I have just copied it down and I have broken it down and it turns out to be 6 times square root of 10 as the simplest form. So therefore I can write this square root of 360 as 6 times square root of 10 as you can see over here and now we can see that this lowercase r represents the radius of this blue shaded circle. The radius of this blue shaded circle turns out to be 6 times square root of 10 units. So thus the area of this blue shaded circle turns out to be 6 times square root of 10 units and that is approximately equal to 19 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.